Almanac of Occultism. <laughs> they have a whole handbook. How to be a cultist 101. <laughs> Hello, hello, my name is Alpacapin, and this is Lovecraft's Untold Stories, and yes, this game is inspired by H.P. Lovecraft, the granddaddy of all things horror, nightmarish, and ugly. <laughs> Retire out of the blue, there's no contact for months, and then telegram reading, Murphy, stop. Chateau, Chateau Hill, Massachusetts, stop. Bring gun, stop. Urgent help needed. Stop. Bayou cult. Stop. Well, I'm here for you, Legrasse. Okay, so the way I actually found this game was because in my other playthrough of, um, Stories Untold, I misspelled the title. I misspelled the title, and it turned into Untold Stories. That's where Lovecraft's Untold Stories come from. Uh, now I have played a little bit of this, because, um, this game is just something that I'm pretty interesting to play in my meantime. That I... I enjoy this type of game. So I've already been through the beginning part of it. And... Similarly to, um... Remothered, this game also gives me a Resident Evil Zero feel. Which I will be playing in the future. Now this game right now... Several sets of footprints. I'm sure there was a struggle here. There's th this doesn't look good. Move on. So, in this game, we are a detective, and we were actually studying alongside one of the uh, uh, more famous detective, and um, he had some issues, so to say. And so, uh, our character left and started his own PI firm. Okay, so we found a cultist corpse here. The corpse of one of a member. The corpse of one of a member of one of the secret societies or cults I've been encountering. That's a lot of ofs. This gives me a better chance to examine the tattoos and ritual scars I've only glimpsed before. The people, These people appear to mortify their flesh extensively, probably as a test of faith or acts of devotion. Oh, there's signs of body modification too. Ooh, what kinds? Alright, Detective Blasted. I'm not really sure what this means. The tongue has been split down the middle. Several teeth have been filed. The fingers, finger and toenails have been removed or, and cauterized. There is a crudely performed partial castration. The navel has been sewn shut and the nipples have been removed. I mean... Phew. At least knowing this will, be make, will make them easier to spot in the future. Jesus. Everything you can do to a man, you have done. You've taken away his nuts. You've sewn his butt shut. <laughs> You've taken off his nipples. What else can you do? Now, the reason we're going back here is because there we just picked up a key. And we can use this key to open a treasure chest. Yes. Treasure chest. <laughs> Oops, wrong way. Now, this game, I believe, is still in early access. I am not completely sure. How to use... Oh, yes. An onk and a golden bug. Not actually sure what we use those for. Now, let's head back and go into the building. Because we're here to look for our partner, Lagrasse. Well former partner. God dang you, boxes. What do you have to impede me every time? Okay. Oh, that's not the button. Let's equip the dynamite. And... Oh, no, no. I don't do that. Okay. And we will chuck it in there. Damn it all. inside. It's another mansion. Old mansion, and here you are inside. You are enveloped by the twilight and the smell of old furniture. The walls of this mansion are thick enough and impenetrable for extraneous sounds. They reliably keep their secrets, and only distant rustles in your heartbeat are audible. Ooh. Fancy place. Is that a lady? 
got everything in full display. So on our mini map, I think the south side is where we just came in from. Let's check this place out first. Huh. You know, in my first playthrough, I, well, didn't get very far, first of all. And second of all, the left room did not look like this. I think this game is random, gen. That is amazing. I love me or some random gen. Makes the game really, uh, playable, replayable. What happened here? There's a, there's a big stone carved, big stone carved altar laying here. Examine the engravings. La Yog, Yog is key. Yog is the key. Yog is the gate. Yog is the key and the gate. That, this is some cultist shit. Did you carve out hearts here or something? Like the Aztecs? Mm-mm. I actually think ammo in here is infinite, which is pretty cool. Check out the right side before we go up. Some more blood. Oh, that is cool. There was a, uh, there's a secret door here and another cultist chamber. Seems this lock can only be opened with a special key. Well, let's go find us that key. The first floor is actually... Well, yeah, of course it, the first floor would be big. I wonder if this is the key for the room just now. Oh! Oh no! He gone, cultist. Oh, there's some fancy cultists. They got guns, too. I'm at half health. This isn't looking too good. I got some money. I wonder what I can do that for. Just stepping on them cause me to take damage? Huh. Let's check out this left room. More cultists. Ah! This game's kind of... Am I just bad? Maybe we still have... Okay. Yeah, let's go into this room over here. Try to open this chest first. Oh. Okay, well, I guess that key does not fit. Um, this- talk about a demonic statue. Something very disturbing about this statue. Try to identify what it is. The figure seems to be human at first, but looking closer, it appears closer to an ape. Odd bones protrude from the skin, the teeth and the the teeth from mouth from the mouth, and its fingers articulate strangely. I feel at any moment like it might leap up and attack me. I'll shoot it, just in case. I've watched Zombie Land. I know to double tap. Let's check out the bottom room. Oh, I wonder if this is what. Oh yeah, okay, never mind. This is what connected us to the, uh, to the gargoyle in the first place. Or whatever that statue was. Hmm. Yeah, let's go up. Okay. I wonder if we'll be able to kill the cultists this time. Oh, they've got magic too. Magic and guns. Is there one more? I think there is. Oh no, he did. Okay. Let's check out this room here. Cultists everywhere. Am I supposed to die a lot in this game? Died of wounds. Okay. So it would just seem that I am terrible at this game. Maybe I'd have better luck if it was on mouse. small mirror hanging here. Looking into it, I see. It's just me. I've changed. I look terrible. And I look alright, continuing, considering the situation. Let's try I look terrible. Can I take my choice back? That, uh, health is kind of, kind of important to me. Another statue. An incongruous statue of a kneeling woman as if she was protecting herself from her attackers. Detective, I should take a closer look. She looks terrified. It's unnervingly realistic, like a tiny three-dimensional 
photograph. Proportions are perfect. When I get very close, I swear I can feel her shallow breath on my skin. That's unnerving. How's it smell? <laughs> Take this. Oh. When it's just the single cultists, they don't seem too tough. A decrepit looking boiler. Doesn't look very safe. Open it and check inside. When I opened it for a split second, I heard what I thought was a scream. Maybe it was just a hiss of steam. Oh no. There are charred remains of human hand bones, still clasped still clasped together as if in prayer. What happened here? You lost part of your sanity. We have sanity in this game, too? What? Oh, okay, so we- we- Medical supplies seem pretty- Oh, we're upstairs? Oh. We were downstairs. Medical supplies seem pretty common, so... Maybe we- Maybe we aren't supposed to die. Maybe we're just supposed to use these. Because I really didn't last time. Oh, oh, missed. Damn. Okay. I'd say that's not too bad. Go to the right again. More cultists. Oh! This is actually pretty hard to aim with a joystick. Oh, I'm bleeding. Hmm, okay, so it's a heal over time. Yeah, a lot of medical supplies. There's a big stone carved altar laying here. Examine. Oh, it's the same blood sacrifice. Heart altar. Hmm. It doesn't seem like there's anything in this room. Oh. Up. You know, this is a pretty fancy house for cultists. Usually they hide out in some, uh... Some old abandoned factory. Some... I don't know, where do, where do cultists hide? Ooh, and this chest is just open. A Tommy gun! Hello? Oh no, I don't want to... Damn it. Okay, how do I use this? Only for the detective. The problem solver. Choice for any gangster. I thought we were a detective, not a gangster. Paper covered in Legrasse's notations. I can make out. Chateau Hill. Put up. As bond for the Bale of Castro. The Bayou cult's leader. Move on. Huh. I wonder what that does, that info. And for one, how do I switch weapons? Oh right, I have a roll. Maybe I can use that to dodge. Huh. Oh, I am using the Tommy gun. Ow. Ow. Okay, we should probably heal and not walk into these. But I want to get there. We even have a key? Mm -mm. Well, we'll have to remember that and come back. Oh, this is easier. Yeah, never mind. Come get some! If I can just see! They're all dead. Maybe I was a bit overzealous. But you know, when you got this much firepower, it's just, it's hard to contain yourself. Some more info. Yeah, still not really sure what info does. But the cultists in this place have reproduced like rabbits. Honestly. <laughs> what do they do in here all day? What do cultists do? Maybe it's just like a Tuesday afternoon and they're just like, Hey, we should sacrifice Bob today. This idol has a head with the form of an octopus. Odd. 
It's kind of ugly. Oh, I know you. I saw you in, um, Pirates of the Caribbean. What was your name? Davy... Davy Jones. The idol has a head with the form of an octopus. Odd. Can I just see you? Okay, well, let's go up. Oh! Ooh. 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 There's a lot of them in here. Oh wait, no, I'm not just fighting cultists. There were some tentacle monsters there too. So what, I have two lives? Do I want to go back there? Am I ready to go back there? I don't know. We'll see. Hold on, I want to go back for this. Almanac of Occultism. <laughs> they have a whole handbook. How to be a cultist 101. <laughs> Seriously, what do cultists do? Other than drink Kool-Aid and commit mass suicide. There's a block of stone carved to look like an open lock. There is... There are even letters engraved on the open passages. I should try to read it. Describe someone leaning over a stone book, reading it, looking for answers to an insurmountable question in a different universe. The description of the reader matches me perfectly. How is that even possible? Ooh. Wait, 2,000 info for my sanity? You can take more. I don't need this. Who needs sanity? When you're seeing the type of things... Detective has seen. God damn it. You don't really need sanity. Well, at least we're finding med kits left and right. Threaded Legra uh, Legrasse's handwriting covers these pages. I can make out Castro and his followers aren't accepted by the Baratarians of the Bayou. They called them Choo Choo. Insult? Hmm. You call it insult, I call it Thomas. Thomas, the train that could. I don't even remember how the song went. What is this? Over here, huh, gracious, there's a perfect little model of this area, with a little model of me in there too. It's terrifying, how did someone make that knowing I'd be here? That's amazing. That's odd, that's amazing, odd, but amazing and beautiful, detective. I should put my hand in and knock some stuff over. <laughs> yeah, ow. What did I do? <laughs> I thought we were gonna knock some stuff over. Why would you knock yourself over? Silly thing. Not much of a detective, are you? Stone cellar door. There's a hole carved onto it, probably for with a key. Hmm. Maybe this anchor that we have in our inventory is part of a key. It did say we need a second part, so let's go look for it. Nope, not falling for that again. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, there's a shelf. 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 Book in an unknown language. What do we even do with these? Hmm. We'll keep them for now. Ah. Uh, what's with all these traps? Honestly. Do these cultists just know where they are? Where the traps are? How do I even get up there? Do I get up there? No, okay, I, I guess not. I kinda, kinda like this thing. This Tommy gun. Means my bad aim doesn't really, uh, hinder me anymore. Okay. You know what? We... No, we're gonna go left. And then we're gonna go down. And then left again. That's oh, a creepy statue. Detective, ex a medieval period European art. Examine it. Engraved with words. I wanna say that's French. I did not take French in high school, I took Spanish. I'm sorry. 
Oh, well, we got a key. And a sheet of paper with what seems to be a strange painting of ink splattered on it. And to me, looks like the last thing I saw. Represents how I feel. Looks like an object. Looks like an ink splatter. Oh, doesn't do anything. Looks like the last thing I saw. What's the last thing I saw? The last thing I saw, non-living, would have to be this table. Before that, it was the sheet of the the suit of armor, and then you were talking about organic. No, no. We'll channel our inner artiste. Represents how I feel, seeing my chaotic emotions presented to me on paper. I don't know if I can keep doing this. God damn it! Oh, we didn't lose our sanity. That's good. I thought we I thought we messed us messed us up. A stone sculpture or an altar. Detective closely inspected. Chiseled into the base. Divo non denti silva. <laughs> okay. Okay, cultist. Another thousand info. What does info do? What does it do? Well, our inventory is full with books and shit. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go right, and then we're gonna go right. Come on, cultist, get some! Get some! Oh, damn it. Hmm. Not even anything in here. Oh my goodness! Your story is over. Can we start the story as someone else? No, we haven't met anyone yet. We haven't progressed at all. <laughs> oh, crap. I'm so bad at this game. Gonna be it for this episode. Maybe I'll, I'll practice a little bit off camera. Yeah, and then the next time we play, we can actually see something happen. Thanks for watching. See ya.